Hey guys, I got a few requests to create um, a tutorial on how to connect to a MySQL or a SQL or whatever. I say I'm going to interchange SQL and SQL many times. So, a uh, database. Uh, I'm just going to do it through a console application rather than through an ASP.NET web page, which is what most people probably do. Uh, in order to do this, you would need to set remote, debu remote access to true in your uh, database. Um, otherwise, you'd have to run it on. Uh, on the actual server, but uh, anyway, to the easy stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with uh, MySQL. The SQL one's gonna be in a different tutorial, so just look on my YouTube page or whatever. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need the DLL reference um, to actually be able to use some of the methods that someone's already nicely created for us, thankfully. Uh, so we're gonna go to this site, the MySQL website. Uh, look at this, pause the mo pause the video, copy this down, I don't know, Google, you lazy people. But uh, we're going to need to download the DLL for that, which is somewhere. Yeah, it's an EXE, which probably just extracts, extracts it somewhere. But, uh, alright, once you have that, just click right-click references, click add reference, get this mysco.data.dll. Okay, make sure it's added, good. Add a using statement. MySQL data client. Alrighty. We are good to go. Alright. First thing we're going to do is we're going to build our connection string. And that's basically going to contain all of our information like our server name, our port, our database, our user ID, and our password. And this will vary based on your hosting provider and whatever you've entered in. My server is very long, so. There we go. And port. Oh yeah, and all this information is going to be void as soon as this is released. Make sure none of you guys mess with my shit. And if you do, I don't really care, but... I could keep it up just to, so you guys could experiment with it, but I'd rather not. All right, there's our string. So now we have to create a MySQL connection. Providing at the connection string. We have to create a MySQL command. And we get that using the con.create command. And then we have to set the text this is the actual query we're gonna do. Um, for this, I'm just going to do a uh, a select statement, a insert statement, and an update statement. Those are probably three of the most basic ones. Um, and you can look up more and look up how to do that. But uh, all right, we're gonna start out with I guess select. So let's go take a look at the database. All right, I got this table called tutorial table. We got these three rows, or two columns, three rows, entry one, and you know. So we're just going to want to grab the text from, let's say, the second one that says lol, this is second. <laughs> I guess I was bored. I did this. Okay, so we're just going to do select uh, text from tutorial table where id equals two. Oops. Okay. And this will select the uh, this column value when this column ID equals two, which is this. So it should select the little this a second. And we're gonna open up the connection. It's con. Open. Probably a good idea to put this in uh, try catch block because you're messing with things that will most likely die at some time. Now we're going to create the MySQL data reader. This will read the data. This is usually only used for select statements as far as I know. 
minus gold data reader equals command dot execute reader and while we can read data we are going to write the data to the console and since we want to select the data in the text column we're gonna do read a bracket reader bracket text and bracket to string and at the end of this we're just gonna put a console.read line so we can actually read it and it should be able to do that Look, there we go and let's change it to one there we go there's entry number one three cool I wonder what happens when you do four I'm just see what happens uh oh, I think just nothing happened. I wonder what happens when we do this. Oh, it got very angry at us. Very, very angry. So this is why you'd want to use try catches there. Okay, there's a select statement. Very, very simple. Now for let's do insert statement. Let's just comment this out. All right, we're gonna let's comment this out too. All right, this is a little bit different. Got this at the command text, and we're going to insert into tutorial table, and we have to provide it the um, names of the col columns that we want to insert into, which is at this point in ID and text, and then the values and make sure you do a single quote mark or else it will interpret it as a column name and we do not want that we want it to interpret it as data so that makes no sense in English but whatever I don't know why I did that here Okay. so insert into tutorial table the in the columns ID and text the values for and this is fourth data and in order to do this we're going to do con dot open oh and a uh, thing I forgot to mention once you're finished always make sure you close your connection and we're going to do con dot x I think it's hmm. I did not know okay 